Rumbullion. Kill Devil. Barbados Water. The original rum. True story. A character from your favorite history book. A 300-year-old spirit with nothing but time on its side. Sir John Gay. Do I need to know who this guy is to appreciate rum? No. Well, maybe. He's the father of Barbadian rum. He was perfecting this craft three centuries ago up on a mountaintop. Well, technically it was a hill, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is that he was good. So good that they named the rum and everything else after him. Let me explain. Fermentation. Black gold. Forget the sugar, we're not that sweet. Molasses. The dark stuff. The diamond in the rough. He made it beautiful. He orchestrated the notes of rum into a symphony. And notes, that's a rum thing. Caramel, smoke, vanilla, banana, spice. Commit it to memory. If you're going to make music with rum, you can't have any background noise. You need pure water, Barbadian water. You can't just make this stuff anywhere. This is where the stars aligned for rum. Barbados is a coral reef bed, the best water filtration system on the planet. So when settlers showed up there three, four hundred years ago, it was already there, built into the island. Cool, right? Now distill this, twice, in a copper pot still. Well, why twice? Why copper? Aromatics, my man. What some would call imperfections become the defining notes of character. A metaphor for life, if there ever was one. But what do I think? The guy who seems to know so much about rum? I think doing anything twice builds character. Look, it's like when you go to a movie. What do you see? The action hero with the one-liners, right? The cool bad guy? Sure, they're great characters on screen. But if you try to act like that in real life, it's not going to go down so well. Real character is something entirely different. You can't fake it. It takes time and maturity to build that up. And maturity comes from having history. Mount Gay is a rum with history. Back when they put rum in barrels to ship it overseas, it always tasted better when it got there than when it left. This is because it was building character. That barrel bared its soul to that rum. Those were close quarters for a three-month boat ride. When it arrived, the rum was experienced, wiser, richer, and smoother. Now, if you want to take something like that and put it in a cocktail, it's fine. But here's a rum lesson and a life lesson. Mix appropriately, always. You want to complement your rum with the cola, not the other way around. You've got to get the ratios right. One of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak. That's rum punch, Barbadian rum punch. That's where cocktails come from. This whole cocktail thing started because of Barbadian rum, Mount Gay rum to be exact. Before cola and before ice, you want a cool drink? Drink rum neat. Barbados is 98 degrees in the shade. Ice skating isn't exactly a national pastime. You think anyone 300 years back was asking for a drink on the rocks? I don't think so. They were perfecting rum to be a proper drink on its own. Barbados, by way of your local bar, that's rum. Mount Gay Rum, Barbados, 1703. There's a time and a place. Drink responsibly.